But we begin with new information on the suspects arrested in connection to the murder of Preston Lord, the East Valley teen who was beaten at a Halloween party and later died. Today, another suspect appearing in court, 18 year old Treston Billy. He's now the seventh person indicted on first degree murder and kidnapping charges. ABC 15's Ashley Holden following this investigation from the beginning. And Ashley, you're learning more about what unfolded as that seventh suspect also now appearing in court for the first time. Trust in Billy is that seventh arrest turning himself in Thursday. The indictment we just obtained detailing a second victim who had a necklace that was stolen from him that October night. We don't know who that second victim is. The big question in this case, though, has always been why tonight we're finally starting to learn what happened. I have your full name and your date of birth, please. Tristan John Billy. Tristan Billy, the seventh suspect in the Preston Lord case, appearing in court Friday. Have a warrant for Tristan Billy. Turning himself in Thursday, one day after Queen Creek Police tried to serve a warrant at his home. This is the recording from his initial appearance. Mr. Billy, you're here because you've been indicted by a grand jury. Seven people now indicted on first degree murder and kidnapping. Billy is one of three suspects also indicted for aggravated robbery. New court documents reveal that property was taken from a second victim. The Maricopa County Attorney's Office confirming the night Preston was attacked, a chain necklace was stolen from someone only known as victim A. At some point, Preston and a group ran. They were chased and Preston was beaten. All right, thank you. What's the state's recommendation? Judge, the recommendation is that you keep the bond at the one million secured appearance bond that was set. And your honor, that's based on the facts of the case, the nature of the charges, the flight this defendant made from the scene, the attempt this defendant made to contact other people and to get them to set their story. Queen Creek Police telling ABC 15 the attack on Preston back in October happened very quickly. In court, county prosecutors allege after, Billy and other suspects colluded trying to come up with a story. Earlier in the week, prosecutors also accusing other suspects of trying to tamper with or destroy evidence. Preston was a gentle and kind person and his last moments were filled with fear and pain. We are standing where Preston's life was taken but we are here to take what his life meant back. Thursday, Preston's stepmom standing at the original scene in Queen Creek, speaking to the community and reacting to the news of arrests. These arrests are only the first steps in getting justice for Preston. There will be long court battles, and we would like this community to continue to support the Justice for Preston Lord movement. All the suspects are being held on a $1 million bond and everyone is being charged as an adult and is expected back in court next week. Yeah, uh, we know one of the teens was transferred to MCS, so that's why we have the official booking photo of him. What about the other two teens? So we don't have mug shots yet for Talon Renner or Jacob Meisner. Since a juvenile commissioner ordered that they will stay in juvenile detention, ultimately because of their age, that they're closer to 17. Now, both of their attorneys arguing for them not to be transferred. It was ordered they would be kept separately and we learned that they would be housed, where they would be housed, would be reevaluated every 30 days. I had so many people asking me about mm -hmm. that, so many people following this as it moves through those processes. And a lot of moving parts in this story, so for many. sure. I know you're going to stay on top of it for us, Ashley. Thank you.